All right, YouTubers, wanted to throw together a little video showing uh, my attempt of trying to uh, do a little going green here in southeast Pennsylvania. My version of going green has more to do with saving money than a carbon footprint. I won't get into my philosophy on that. You guys don't want to hear that. Anyways, what I got here is uh, two southwest wind turbines. One is an Air X, one is an Air Breeze. Stuck those on a inch and a half uh, rigid conduit. As you can see on a nice windy day, they're doing a, a nice job. Threw together solar panels on the early morning sun right up against the house here. Threw together some here on top of the trellis to get the midday, and then I threw some on top of my shed roof that gets the latter part of the day. Uh, altogether, I have about 1,800 watts of solar. I want to show you guys real quick the battery bank that I'm using right here. Okay, and as most of you probably know, you recommend it to keep your batteries outside. What I have is four fork truck batteries. They're an L16HC. There's the hydrometer I used to check the specific gravity on them. Uh, they're good for 1600 amps, hours which uh, that can be a little tricky at times. The, the formula that I found that works good in Pennsylvania is uh, C divided by eight. That's capacity divided by eight. Gives you the actual hours that you're gonna be able to get out of those batteries. What I got here next, beside the messy shed, is a 100 amp squirty disconnect for the uh, batteries. It takes all the load away from the batteries. Uh, I've been experimenting with a couple of different brands of charger controllers. As you can see here is a ProSign. Uh, I do like the ProSign. This was the first one I bought, but it's only uh, a 15 amper, so I'm not using it right now. This is uh, a Chinese one I bought on eBay, uh, CMP45. It doesn't work bad. And then I, last but not least is a Sunforce 30 amp. You can see this is the current voltage that the batteries are producing right there. What I have here is an ammeter that shows the wind turbines, uh, what they're producing right now. And then I just played around with one of these little uh, battery lifespan optimizers right there. Okay, inverters, very important. I went with a ProSign 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This goes into the house. This is what's running all of the uh, things in the home, such as PCs. Uh, I, can, I can even use it for my entertainment center, uh, the television. Anyways, if you're going to use an inverter on good electronics, you need a pure sine wave inverter. This was the first inverter I bought. It's a thousand watts also. It's a modified sine wave. And uh, after reading up on these, uh, these are good for things like battery chargers, lights, but they're not recommended for electronics and uh, things of that nature. All right, hey, if you guys have any questions, not that I'm an expert, but I've been playing with this for the last year, I'd love to be able to help anybody out. Drop me an email. Uh, like I said, again, you learn as you go. It's been a, a fun enjoyment. Yeah, those are 15 watt solar panels on the, the conduit in case anybody else was wondering. I forgot to mention that. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day.